morning. Um, it's just Saturday night, um, 2016. I'm here today to uh, talk to you about a state trooper in Indiana. Uh, this will be the beginning of several, I don't know, lessons that, that I wish to teach the, you know, the people in the world. Um, I've been urged by God through messages from God. Um, and you're going to go, oh no, she's one of those. She's a Bible thumping Christian. Yes, I'm a Christian. Bible thumping? I don't know so much about that. But um, there's a state trooper. And uh, he's from Indiana. He's in his 40s. And I just happened to be watching uh, Fox News a couple of days uh, ago. And uh, read this article about the state trooper. And uh, he's in his 40s. He's been with the department about 14 years, I think. And uh, while he was out on routine traffic stops, um, being that he is a Christian, he was talking to people about God and about being Christians and going to church and, and saving their souls. Okay, and... Um, so because he did this, the devil or atheist, whatever, people who do not believe, um, decided to make his life miserable. And uh, he got fired, actually. After 14 years, he gets fired. Because he's a Christian and he's trying to save souls. And, well, I don't know about you all, but... I think that's pretty pathetic, don't you? The man's actually doing something good in this world. He's trying to help the Christians. He's trying to help people to become Christians so that their souls are saved. So they don't uh, float out in the void. Which is pretty nasty. And I've been there. So, actually, it's not much fun. Believe me. And I will describe it to you. So you too will know what it's like to float in the void. And it is a void. It happened to me. Because I was not being a Christian. I didn't believe in anything. So when it happened to me. Just imagine. This is a perfect example of what it's like. The coldest cold that you can feel. I mean cold. And black. It's like being in outer space and there's not a moon, a star, or a planet anywhere. And you're there. You're floating in that. And you can't control anything. You are just there. That's what it's like. So, this man, this state trooper, was actually trying to save these people's souls. Yeah, so they wouldn't have to deal with that void. You know, that blackness, that nothingness. And they fired him for it. Believe it or not, they fired him for it. And, you know, I sit there and I think to myself, it says in the Bible, right is wrong and wrong is right. And I, I see in this very instance that right is wrong and wrong is right and also we do know that the legal system is flawed yes we do i have lived with it my entire life and i'm in my 50s i have seen so many people that are true blue thieves liars cheats and criminals use the legal system to victimize the people that they're already victimizing I'm serious. This is what they do. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Right is wrong. Wrong is right. But then, you know, for a person who gets arrested. Now, granted, there are murderers and rapists and people out there that are actually really guilty and do belong in prison. Yes, it's true. But there are a lot of those people that go to jail and go to prison because they have been victimized. Again, right is wrong and wrong is right. And then how are they supposed to 
go to jail or to prison and be taught the right way when the right way is the wrong way. You see what I mean? Does that make any sense to you all? I cannot understand. And I mean, even though I understand how it works and what I see they're doing, I still don't understand. I just don't. So what are you going to do? Are we to be led to slaughter because we're Christians? As they did the lambs back in history? Or do we stand up and fight and say, uh-uh, not happening anymore. And all this stuff that the government's doing, all this stuff that the corrupt ones are doing to keep us off balance, the churches, not all churches, but a lot of churches do things to control the masses. They do not want us to know who and what we truly are and where we really came from. Because if the people knew the truth and could accept the truth, the world would be a very, very different place. And suffering would cease. It would stop. Because one of the biggest reasons people suffer is because they have an emptiness inside themselves. And they feel it every day. And the best way that I can describe that emptiness is sort of like, because I suffer it myself, right? The best way to describe it, I think, is to imagine all of us have had people in our, in our lives, uh, family, friends, that have died. And we've been very close to them and we've loved them very much. And we've lost them. And it's created an emptiness and a hole inside of us. Because humans as a whole are like a collective society. We feel together. You know, we connect with each other. Except for the ones that, that want to not be connected to us. To, to the rest of us, of course. So, um, so, let's get back to this state trooper. He believes in God. And I'm not sure what they teach in his church. How they're taught. What I do see and what I do know is this man is out there doing his job, which is dangerous every day. You get somebody want to shoot him, stab him, something. You know what I mean? Because they're angry because the system has victimized them. But this man is going out there and he's actually trying to save souls. And you know what he got for it? Fired! I mean, if you read the article, it talks about, you know, he's been warned and, you know, not to do these things. And there was some woman who didn't like the fact that he was talking to her about God and about being a Christian. So I can only assume that she's either an atheist or she's a devil worshiper. Or she's just too frightened to face the truth, maybe? Who knows? And, you know, and she caused so much trouble for this poor state chamber. You know, she really did. And she got the, um, oh, what the world do you call them? The American Civil Liberties Department on her side. You know what? You know what I say to the Civil Liberties you know, department or union. I think they call it a union. Oh, go away. Really? I have had my civil rights violated all my life. All my life. And even my mother's civil rights violated. They would not listen to my mother and they took her ventilator away. And she begged for it. They murdered her. And do you think the civil rights people would step in and help her because she was fragile, a sickly person, and had not the ability to verbally speak? She could only write things. They held her prisoner in the hospital and the facility and violated every right that she had as a human being. And do you think the civil liberties people helped? 
Not one iota. Nothing. Me? Oh, honey. I've been falsely accused of things all my life. People setting me up and stuff. My rights are violated 24-7 every day. Somebody break in and beat the hell out of me. Do you think they would go to jail? Nope. Do you know how many times my houses have been robbed? Did anybody help me? No. Nope. 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 I've been blackmailed. Yes, I have. And did anybody help me? No. Nobody helped me. Nope. Not the police. Nobody. Civil liberties, because I have supposedly the right to be protected under the law just like everybody else. But did they step in and help me when I called? No. But yet, this woman and these other people, able to call them, and boy, they hopped on that hot topic, didn't they? This man, this man who's strong in his faith, who's actually trying to help them, trying to save them, their souls, so they don't have to face that blackness out there, that void, when they die. They cause so much trouble that the man gets fired. The state trooper gets fired. And he's doing something good. And he gets fired. After 14 years. 14 years of risking his life. So, I don't know about you all, but come the first of the week, I'm going to my bank and I'm going to talk to the manager and see if he can't find a way to set up an account for this, this gentleman from Indiana, this state trooper, Brian Hamilton's his name. Because I'm standing up and I'm going to do what's right. Okay? This man was not mixing, you know, his job with his beliefs. You know, he didn't give them any perks for saying they were Christians. All he did was try to help them to save themselves. And this is what the things he got for it. So, anyway. Um, I don't want to be in charge of taking money for this man. You know, I don't know if he has a family. I don't know what the situation is. This happened back in January. So, I suggest everybody either send a money order Find out his address in Indiana, send a money order from themselves, or go to their banks and find a way to set things up with their banks. And not anybody be responsible for controlling the money that goes to this family. Because this man was doing what was right. He believed in his faith, and he was actually out there, even though he risked his life every day. He was out there trying to save souls. Who's trying to help them. So anyway, um, that's all I have for now. Um, this is just a, well, you could call it a special announcement, I suppose. But um, I'll be doing another video. I'm going to try to do several at a time so that I can bring everybody to speed, up to speed about who they are, what they are, where they came from, the history of this world, and where we ultimately are heading to. Um, unless we change. So... Anyway, my name's Brenda Lee, and uh, it's been nice talking to all of you.